This is a very, very crap lift. This lift's a generic and it is hydraulic and everything about it is just completely uninspiring. No imagination or effort or design work whatsoever has been put into this lift whatsoever. The worst thing about it is inside lift. It looks so plain and boring and generic and ah, uh, there's just nothing inspiring about these lifts. When I find one of these lifts, I don't even bother to film it because it is so boring. But hey, this video is a bit different. In this video, I'll be taking a closer look at the equipment on this lift. Firstly, this is what a lift looks like. This lift's completely made from brought in parts. The company made this lift did not make any of it. They just get a part, assemble them together, make a lift. This isn't like a nice product made by a nice company that's designed a product. No, this is just a load of parts bunged together and you make a lift. And now let's take a closer look at it. Firstly, shaft lights. That is nice. There's a nice light switch here for shaft lights. It makes it nice and bright so you can see exactly what I'm filming. Right, let's take a look at the various things on top of this lift. You've got here the various door operators. Yeah, these are fairly well bog standard. You've got here an alarm thingy. Yeah, that looks like their power supply for the doors. And you can see all this stuff's just like assembled together, put in different bits, wire it up, and you have a lift. And also, this lift only is designed to last 10 years. Pretty crap, really. But hey, it's cheap, and that's pretty much all people care about now. Okay, what other stuff's on here? Some buttons! Let's see what these do. Disappointingly, not much. I thought these buttons were like some way of programming a lift or something interesting. But I know all this is is just the um, box for the telephone for the alarm and all the settings. And all it does is like find a particular number when the alarm's pressed. So this thing isn't really all that interesting. Okay, what else is there? And long way down. Well, not that far. Got levels one, two, and three. Not really that at all. And here we can see the hydraulic. And we can see it's a roped hydraulic. So the hydraulic's inside of a lift shaft. Hydraulic pushes up a wheel and wheel pulls the ropes, which makes the lift go up double speed of what the hydraulic goes up which means that this goes to standard hydraulic speed of two thirds of a meter a second, rather slow. And the worst thing about hydraulics is they take ages to start up when going upwards. Really, lifts installed today, like in the modern day, shouldn't be using hydraulics anymore, really. This genetic lift is quite a bit different to the last one I filmed. The last one I filmed like this was a nice MRL, and despite being generic and rather crap and looking crap, it did actually run quite nicely. It had a quite nice one meter a second MRL motor. Now this lift is just like a bog standard load of crap generic really. So then, now let's make this lift move. But first, I eat a sandwich. Nom 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 nom. Mmm, yeah, nice quiet place to eat my lunch this is. Right then, let's make the lift move. Here is the control box. It's quite nice, I like the LED light on the top. And let's go. And this one moves quite slowly. This is like your bog standard generic. It's, it like has solenoids which let the hydraulic in. So to go up, the motor pumps while the solenoids release. So half of the fluid it pumps goes back into the tank while the other half goes into the hydraulic. And that makes it go slow. So they can't make it go different speeds for different purposes. It's just either full speed or leveling speed. And going down, yeah, there's a small solenoid that opens up which makes it go down slow on leveling speed or open up a big solenoid and that makes it go down faster so it's only got the one speed so i'm having to go leveling speed which is pretty slow even for a leveling speed this is slow and which is typical of crap genetic lift because they are slow Right then, it's now time to run this lift at full speed. But doing this was a bit more complicated. This lift recalls to the ground floor, but getting it to go down there was a bit more difficult because this lift had some way of detecting that I was on top of it. It kept refusing to move. Just simply turning it from manual back to automatic didn't actually make it do anything. And also another thing I noticed is when you actually open up the doors on the outside, the whole lift disables until you go into the lift, put it onto manual, take it back to automatic, then get back out again. Only then does the lift start working again. Not quite sure entirely how it knows I'm up here, but it does. Uh, so after a lot of experimenting, I finally managed to make the lift move at full speed. But And I did this by having lift on manual, opening the doors, then switching it to automatic as if I just got off the lift, then closing the doors again and having the LED light on top of the lift turned off. That way I managed to trick the lift into thinking I got off it and it moved at full speed. I inverted off the light, I could still see nice and perfectly because of the shaft lights. Right, down I go. Sadly, I couldn't get my phone out quite fast enough when moving down to film it, so I sort of missed this bit. But someone wanted to get in the lift and I managed to film the ride at full speed. Oh crap, it's heading to the top floor! But 
luckily I was not crushed at the top because I checked beforehand there was room for a lift to move to the top floor. Mm, yeah, when that lift was going up to the top floor speed, I literally almost just stopped it at that point because that was a bit scary. I'm so glad I didn't because if I did, the person inside lift would have sounded the alarm and yeah, hmm, oh well, and that is the end of the video.